Rin contacts Mimizuko, a Goda operative. Is Rin not fit to be an assassin? Next on Tenchu Fatal Shadows, a task without reward. Evil will perish in a flash of crimson. On the road, alone, letter in hand, one man haunts her thoughts, a familiar face, the one behind the destruction of her home. Why? What possible reason could there be? All thoughts were overcome with hatred. Vengeance would heal all wounds. But such thoughts are in the past. Now, the truth must be found before revenge can be hers. Could he truly be an enemy? The enemy she had sworn to kill? Confusion can wait. For now, a message must be delivered. There will be time enough for thought. Hunt any good dragons lately? No, but I've been caught on a few of their horns. Mimizuku? You Ayame? Ayame couldn't come. She told me to give this to you. Oh. I thought I recognized your voice, kid. What the hell are you doing here, Rin? Hichikoro? Wait! You're a Goda spy? I didn't mean to lie to you or Ogin, but no use lying now. Just be sure to break it to Ogin nicely, okay? Sure. Did you read it? Good. Then it looks like I don't have to kill you. Kichigoro. Hmm? You and Ayame don't got any quarrel with the Koroya. Why? Why are you guys risking your lives like this? It's what happens when you've got a twisted sense of loyalty to your country. We're probably never going to see each other again, so I might as well tell you. Sorry, but I don't think you're cut out for this work. What? You're too... I don't know. Caring. If you're going to be a killer, you got to be stone cold. So long, kiddo. You're all right. <laughs> 